adjustment in the strategy. But from the look of it, Paper X is still content to send the same kind of pistol round look. Where they're slowly prodding towards halls with the both duelists up at dish. It's a stun and obviously exchanged. Prowler's being used. That's a lot early on from Shao just to try and clear through in case there's somebody there. But it is more tempered and space has been given up. That drop location. Players are watching it though. FPX seem relatively aware that it could be a possibility. Of course, compromise, you've got to be... Oh, this angle. Angel's getting a little antsy here. Gonna oh, have to refresh his one look at that timing. Soon. I think that's the timing that Paper X are going for. One way back up. Angel wants information right now. He's playing much further forwards than he has done previously. Oh, wow. There's been no noise from Paper X. He's a crazy Only man. Only one rendezvous is what he hears. But his smoke's going to go down. It's not a lot to go off, but with the Viper or down, there's a fast lane to try and split this one up. And now the showstopper play into sand, cut it across, but this wall impedes it. <gasps> Suketsu, that Razor sucks. That old is so useless. So useless. Angel returns back into action. Two kills for him. The Vi will eventually trade it, but he's left alone, isn't he? Seriously. Seriously. Picking up this right. This ult is useless. The crossfire, this choke hold that FPX have got onto the site. It never fucking Almost kills. Never. And it has to be like left, direct. He is not getting past the brick wall of artists. And Paper X, I, I've never seen a yeah, race play. Yeah, it literally has to hit them in the so face. So frequently as Jing oh, yeah. with his showstoppers. I mean, that was just absurd. 138 damage he did. And also a bit of a miscommunication there as well. Mind Freak not realizing where he died from. Oh my god. Angel just not being cleared out fast enough. He's able to get that nah. value just playing in that close position and still we're not seeing any sort of attempt to try and lean towards the B side. It looks like again all the players you want to play, let's happy play. to keep up a similar. Yeah, I think we definitely need to see the crowd more, Gimothy. Yeah, they're really trying um, to come home this conditioning. Oh perhaps okay. trying to make space. Yeah, I don't know though. For Divide to work his operator in there. One against the other. Total force could be a huge difference maker. They're slowly creeping up on these ankles. What? Ardis is going to have the better angle here. Here's what? It comes close. It comes down to these micro adjustments. It comes down to it, doesn't it? Just the patience to try and hold this one. Ardis still unwilling to reposition. There was a crosshair bug. On the other side of the map, Angel has this info. Oh, he missed it. All going to be scattered through. That's going to be the rolling funder. And now Forsaken, the overdrive is all the way deep wow. in this one. One kill found. Satchel attached to Getsu. You should not be favored there. Sunba still locks down tower, but he's being squeezed. Wow. Able to push back the approach of the players. With the Vipers pinned Oh, down. no. It's looking like a difficult task, but Shao. longer. Listen. He also two of them. Now he's making it work. Him and Angel against the world. Forsaken. Ult's gonna be fading. Picked up a bulldog. They're both arcade. They still need to get themselves onto the site. Angel. Has he to went too soon. They saw him. Oh my god. Oh my cross. god. Jing is crazy, dude. Well. Look how far he went with that satchel. This is bouncing around the literally. Drifting. There we go. Great stuff by Paper X there. Ayo. FPX actually read what was happening and had pushed two players out, Angel and Xiao, through <laughs> halls. That's how Xiao got behind so quickly. But they weren't anticipating Forsaken to be this aggressive. It's one thing to know. Oh, they didn't see him. He just spammed it. It is another thing to suddenly find them in your spawn. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Big one. Let's go. When it was looking like honestly the momentum. Did you see the, the barrel? He did. Really oh, okay. Oh, FPS, I should say. But they found something that works, and this yeah. time Forsaken Divide getting very quickly past the one-way smoke, making sure they hold for any kind of setup. I'm not sure what their plan was. If they got hit by the paranoia here, maybe just to flee. But at this point, Angels missed his opportunity. Over the back. I mean, he's still holding close to the wall. It's open awkward though. It's yeah. awkward positioning from the FBX awkward. players. Oh my Angel god. Just end up running into Jing. Oh, oh. Through, Jing trying to take the timing. Almost caught him. Free Let's go B, fuck it. There. Misses the opportunity though. And this is Sugetsu's classic. Mid-round Viper's Pit popped onto the A site. A little bit of sound. Wait, why are we coming back? From Paper oh. X as they try and make it sound like they're going over towards B? Or is this just indecision? Pings all over Sandwood indicate 
Paper X is still going to try and fight through this. It needs to be watched now. You can see them moving all the way through to stun. That's going to be a connection. Forsaken Moves. Yeah, what are we doing here? Up, but this is a difficult one. Again, the deal what are we doing here? To get to on the high ground and the Viper's pit remains intact. Why would we go to the Viper ult? And it has to be a pivot. It has to be an adjustment. And Ardis stays in his position here. They're going to go... Where are we going? No, nope. thinking about going over the ropes. There really is indecision. Where are we Literally going? Sam Paper X right now. No time. Benkai normally so good in these mid-round decisions. A tour de force as well. A dodge to the side. Ardis, he could shut this down single-handedly. Holding behind the dies. The shot is found. And the slow field. Rosa. Raced across the showstopper as the cherry on top. Not a chance <laughs> hell for Paper X to find their way back in. And Devai, the silver lining to this catastrophic round may be that he just keeps the operator. Ray's all useless. Ray's all useless. Rip back control into their camp. I don't know what they did right there. They, yeah, it was definitely indecision. This setup is so difficult to crack. So get you on top of B yeah. with inside his Viper's pit and Xiao playing inside it on the bottom. Xiao's more often going to take first contact and even if he dies, the pit remains active. There's really no way to clear out Sugetsu when he plays back against the wall. Did I have Igelix? Yes, yeah. After a very successful map two, Forsaken stat line seems to indicate he's back to bind. Just getting uh, shut well, down, hammered by utility. Has to keep giving up these early fights. No but he way. wants to force it Whoa. on. What is that shot? What a flick in the angle. Watch the guy. He's got his back. Check his PC. Oh, this is just one tap. Once more relentless. Forsaken though this time. Put off the gas. Now the Satra play onto the side. It's they know he's here. He can lock this one it's on, I think. No, I didn't. Well, the not. Doesn't and the matter. Timing was everything. And it was perfect. Overheat. Flash into the corner. Artist Minus 400. Almost everything in his clip there. The head under finding it though still. It is a 2v3. Sagetsu. What a kill to find to Jing. He chooses to refight into this to buy with the shot though. Big now kill. To Ardis. And with only an operator in hand. What was it 500? This one doesn't look doable. In fact, rendezvous in to donate the off. Just thinking that he was inside the Oh, mama. Paper X managed to claw, claw one back. Look, Look at, this. at this shot from Forsaken. One bullet. What is that? That's filth. Absolute filth. Damn. Devai as well sneaking an op shot the underneath. The oh my god. Face on Angel. Yeah. Angel's over it. <laughs> Angel's over it. Read, I think, of how to disrupt that one. The players are up close and personal. The paranoia was skirted across, but... <laughs> Where, do you really anticipate Forsaken to just be sliding and gliding across the uh, ground? Yep. What yep. a map we've had so far. But they are going to need to keep pulling off those... Just kidding. Shots. Third map. Because from a strategical point of view, things are not going so well for Paper X. Motherfucker well, woke up at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. First map, right? 2 p.m. you wake up? It's just absolutely... Outlandish behavior, the double satchel in the showstopper. Don't worry, it's a cosmetic it's ult. A Don't be scared, people. Don't be scared. It's harmless. It's harmless. Shoot it. All right, my bad. Don't shoot it. Oh, it's right around this corner, and the timing here could be everything for them. Nice pass. Nice pass. In a position where Mind Freak has those snake bite lineups. So now, possibly for the first time, we get to see the Paper X post plan. And how do what FBX deal with it? You are fucked. Forsaken. You are absolutely Actually, fucked. Never mind. Alright, post plan, post plan. That's all the paper are dealing with. It makes it hard for What is the smoke? Push back this one, but it looks like they've got a setup to deal with it. Control being gained. Divide with the operator. Opening after opening with the nade sent flying. No way can get onto this one. Rattle it off and flick to the oh, side. Divide eventually shut down by the snake bite. Dang, to get too weakened. No more time. Pass the wow. Snake what a it's round. By Mind Freak. There you see the power of the What paper. a Red round. Postman. Mind Freak was actually thinking Terry about jinxed it. Wrap around <laughs> through B. And instead, nice. counter called by somebody Let's on his go. team. Just the thing is that. I won't say anything. Let them play. That shot from Devai. Devai's really woken up in this game. Determined to take his team deeper and deeper. Hoist the trophy. Oh, they're starting to heat up. They're starting to heat up. Posture check. Check. 
It's ah. Paper Rex that are in control and looking to take a sixth. Economy's on their side. The flash to the side and all of that conditioning still. It's a bit of a gamble with players leaning over here, but Arcade is being played for. Satchel play right up close. Forsaken's over here. Through. This is a ball a little bit more with a fast. Been there before, been there before. Oh, plays inside of it. Guess what? Sagetsu still in tower. Still locks it down despite the fact just being Spikes pressured down. from the back there. Jing ended up sending in his nade in this oh. placement. Oh. He just knows it's coming. And Sugetsu has the spike as well. It is so difficult to try and retrieve that. Viper ult. And even more difficult now. Good luck. Potentially impossible. Ryan freaking Divine in such a rotten position. Vardis collecting that one there onto Mind Freak. Divai gonna take quite a bit more for him to find. Yo, stop it! Shot whipping and eventually Sagetsu comes out to bail out his teammates. The thrifty win. These anti ecos have been a real problem for Paper Rex. Even when they haven't lost them, they've been all good, all good. Close. And now it's Paper Rex going from having a booming economy to none at all. Oh, I say none. They've still got something going. But Sugetsu is the playmaker, the master there. It is a well-known IGL strategy. On eco rounds, or on anti-eco rounds rather, send it to the other site. Keep them guessing, don't always hit A. But completely failed there. Angel rotated instantly, Zipan pushed out Fish. Play, they just knew they were going play. B. Stun's gonna be revealing quite a lot there, but... I guarantee this goes 6-6. Six, six. I guarantee it. See where this one lands. Supplementing the rest of this push now, right onto the top of stairs. So it's going to be pushed forwards, and I think the goal there to try and push him forwards into the aftershock. They've already taken tower, but look at that cross end placement. This guy is impeccable. What a monster! Making a serious case for MVP in this tournament, and in this Wait. map, finally gets taken out by Forsaken. Wait. Goes for a slide play. One after the Keep other. waiting. Just keep What's happening. up now, motherfuckers? Who's talking shit off. in the chat? I got the Back script in front of me. Off. Artist. Spike planted. How do you retake this one? Operator. The Viper's pit in the choke. And you have to go for it. It's the final round of the half. Teleport Either way, FPX have six. Question is whether <laughs> Artist can put them out to a major advantage. This would be an outrageous clutch if he could pull it off. If he could find the timing, and it's just not quite there. Not quite there. Paper X. Even at Holy end, fuck, so many start. signs. So back and forth. There's so the many Josh, signs. Holy shit. And the camera's there for two series, seconds. I can't process it all. And every other Masters final. Oh my god. The pleasure of watching has been a one-sided affair. This is the first time where a team's taken a map, and then we go into a third, and it's close on either side. I mean, Copenhagen, you are getting a treat today. What a match to have the crowd here watching. Let's send it down to the analysts to break it down so far, what we've seen. Yes, like you guys said. 7, 8, 9, 13. And that, that I think is going to be the big question here. Man got one too many ecos. Are the set plays on defense that Paper X love running? Are these Cam, plays calm down, people. Going to actually find value? And I think we might get the answer very shortly. They're just holding for it. No pings on the map. That was for the fault line. The angle, but look at this positioning, this crossfire. Three players watching it, just the angle still. Stuns off to the side, Artis in the back, Headhunter. One after the other. Not Headhunter. The in the world, but it doesn't matter. And Benkai has to limp away, 13 health. A failed venture completely there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Let me... The top I said position. stop, dude, let me play now. Still a kill being found. They don't know my position, just wait, bro. He does have a little bit of space to work with. But Hardis pushes even deeper. Devai catching him in the back. 1v2. God damn you guys! This one, Devai! Hopping around the corner, the prowler. Nobody wanted to capitalize off of this, but it's a double face. Have to be now. careful. Now. The one two shot, the damage now. is done. Two HP in a dream, and it's not enough for him. Pistol round for FPX oh. to claw. Any sort of advantage coming into this map into the second half of Fracture. And the way that Paper X like to play on their defense side, it's exactly what FBX are waiting for. They're, they're sat there anticipating it on the pistol again. The same thing we saw on buying from them on attack. Completely reading where the aggression was going to come from, 
and set up with ultra discipline. FPX badge. Down immediately. Looks like Paper X. Go, go, go. Not bothered about it though. They're going to go for it again. Another attempt at some bridge aggression. Trying to control the north side of the map. Push the Meanwhile, back. FBX is starting out. Looking at tunnel. Looking yeah, at taking I mean, stairs. This is honestly, again, a bit of a hard read, I think, from FBX. The preparation coming into this, knowing the aggressive plays were coming. And what a boom bot. That one actually notifies them that somebody's pushed out arcade. Ooh. Still, Ooh. Oh, with the Observer. Vibe. Hello. Rest of the players over across the ropes there. He's taken off two of the players' heads. Another bit of action. Shao, Guardian. Ah, oh, man. The job, isn't it? What more Make can you do, Devai? What more three. can you do? But could still get dangerous. Oh, Xiao gets every kill to take them out of dangerous situations. No noise. Mind freak. A time to oh. is absolutely oh. everything. Classic! Free right gun! You have got to be kidding me. Oh, now what the fuck? Away with this one, Zipan. Bit of a retreat. Finds a shot. Now a weapon. Ooh. One shot to the head, but Xiao shuts go. it down. Damn. It got hairy, it got dicey. But Shao is good for it. Guardian v Guardian in the final moments. Divine finding impact though. Two headhunter kills that just came out of nowhere, whistling himself up to the top. I'm concerned about Can this. Can we get a replay Shao, on Divine's kills? Before this, Jing had caught it. Or rather, yeah, there. Forsaken swings, Jing swings afterwards. Why no double face? Why not try to take out Shao? You let him live to clutch the round. Okay, thanks. You cool. can't allow that. Appreciate that. At least Paper X did enough damage to stop these bonus rounds that have been carrying Paper X's uh, carrying FBX's aggression through. Normally in round 15, Paper X have rifles to work with, bulldogs, everything. This time, only the two from Angel and Xiao. Zipan just hoping somebody gets up close and personal with him. FBX have got to assume in these kind of rounds that bridge the north side of the map is taken. If they don't have somebody up there giving them information, you can't assume that Paper X have decided uh -oh. not to push. Neon, so careful. The timing here, shots exchanged. Oh my this god, you face. crazy you boy. So careful here if you are forsaken. Hey, help guys, Locked help me, down, damn it. it still. And now the contact once more. It's clear. FPX are hoping that- Let's flank them, that fuck it. Patented paper X aggression. Uh oh. The way that they play must be working All out good. in their favor. This time, though, it strikes for Move it, man! Body I'm doing my jing peek. Aggression not really getting too much done here, but it's still a crossfire all the way back. But now, 30 seconds 30 in the round. Is that a thing or no? Shadows. And Paper X have prodded, taken map control, and not over pushed this time. The time pressure is becoming an issue for oh, FBA. It's oh. oh. The rifle, the shots. Just perfection. Wallace! Prime, Prime Gaming, who here has a Twitch Prime the sub? Bonus round where FBX came Not me. Without too many weapons, but they're still going to be able to have a deadly one, a deadly buy this time to follow up. Holy fuck! The way that Paper X approach that defensive aggression, they, they go aggressive and take the top side of the map, but they don't overface they're not trying to force i was just game. fucking kidding just dude slowing the round down i was just fucking with y'all control from fbx and showing that they don't give away any free kills easy one still that's a tp4 stop it my pc is lagging oh, play cooked up angel oh he's, oh he's so so deep there into dish, he gets rewarded with the kill as well. Stop it, it's damn it! Multiple front, Shao pushed up close, right to the side. The satchel play, and listen, I don't blame you. I missed a bit of the action there. That was just pure pandemonium on multiple sections of the map. Yeah, crazy stuff going on, actually. <laughs> I, they push out of they push out of arcade. I said stop it now. Forwards, I thought the round might be over for FPX because Shao had the spike alone. Enemy remaining. But Jing just nice. double blast back past him, nice. unable to do anything. I didn't even see that round because of you guys. And manages to slightly missing. That might make FBX a little cautious. Usually Paper X playing around dish. <laughs> this time not going to Gotta give these new beat. subs a bit of value for their money. Sub mode for two minutes should do it. True. The aggression again. You know what to anticipate with this. W mode. When they're running the double duelist with the. Neon on the raise, you know they're gonna be trying to take control. 
Making risky plays, a bit of a double satchel then out of nightfall. Push them back, he does get good information, they know that there's a player there, but now the response, rolling thunder. Five ball gonna be blocking them, no more sound cues, double, stunned, up, up into tower to try and find it, but again the crossfire, just watching. The pick's so good, they're just tempering all the aggression coming towards okay. them. And the lead, getting okay. steadily, bigger and bigger for them. And FBX just look untouchable in these attack sides. It didn't work for them necessarily. Whoa! The box, though they started to mount some level of a comeback. Like 30 with 20 gives it as well. Thank you, like so 30. I appreciate you. Thank you. That might be the first time I've seen the Sagetsu pop off. Yeah. Even he's feeling it out here in front of the crowd. Passion definitely going through here. Whoa! To try and put a bit of that aggression into halls once more. But again, the FBX players Bug are off. holding, watching. <laughs> Defensive Viper does obviously put a bit of a blockade, but a haunt just to push back through it and take that space. And this is going to be one of your most typical FPX defaults, taking a lot of people to hold the angles as somebody sets up on the top stairs. Trademark gone, nade into the back of the side, don't have to worry too much, but tower. Snake Bite was there, helps him out, and it does force that rendezvous, so site control is gained. And Paper X gambled a if very early Paper on, X win, win this game. round with this buy, I give the chat. Oh my god, I was gonna 100 subs. I was gonna say 500. Unlucky. Diligence being shown once more from them, and somehow Jing. Getting that pick off there. He's managed to get the flank off, and now it's offered him his showstopper. Double satchel into the side. Wait, why is it so close? The rocket doesn't quite do the job. Zipper now. Cosmetic ult, don't, don't worry guys, it's all cool. It. Cosmetic ult, dude. Wire. From now on, if I hear a raise ult, I run towards them. I it's like they basically have nothing in their hands. I mean people already do that actually. They're basically running around with nothing. But that showstopper anything but the high sense of the gamer. High APM, maybe just fake rocket launcher. Directly in the middle of his two targets. That kill secured, honestly. It's a thing that's been carrying FBX, I think, all the way through their lower bracket run. If every obstacle that they face, there's been that preparation, diligence, the crossfires, the trust in each other as teammates as well to be able to hold backs and well. No one's really able to respond with that one. Jinx still wants to hold the angle up with the door opens up. The double swing. It's a trade at the end of the day. Really disciplined from FBX, shutting down Jing. Device going to go for another peek, and he has an answer as well. And it's just feeling an Where the fuck is everybody? What's happening, bro? Up top, Benkai does grab two kills. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Everyone's just dying. Spice going to start to go down, but... What do we got? He's weak. Not a lot of utility other than the flashes. What can forsake? Spam the top. Well. Never mind. Fast lane. That's a punish. Great timing God with the swings. Damn it, bro. And now the game fell apart, dude. At the end of here. Map point for FPX. This might be done. Doing such a great job at shutting these players down. And I, GG, I guys. I barely got to hear the comms at the end of the prior round, but I could hear. Actually, yeah, saying, that's a good jinx. Best. GG. GG. You, you guys are smart. I see what you're doing. You guys are pretty smart. GG, GG. Just angel, raw swing it's over for sure. The timing on Forsaken as he uses his wall. Yeah. And it's perfect. Nice. Too often in this tournament, people have given Paper I see what you guys are doing. All the respect. I like it. Because their players demand it. And yet, if you bring the pain to them, you can find openings. A last ditch effort, though. Kentucky Fast Noodle. Noodle drivers all popped off to try Kentucky and Noodle. Thank you for the 10 gifted. It it's going. working. They're Keep way. spamming GG. Weapons not too good. Squeezing it from the back of halls. Wait. But Sagetsu shuts it down. Still Jing the Satchel play. Fuck. Sagetsu. What a monster. In the blink of an eye. The map secured. Takes it away. And the advantage is theirs. FBX sensing. The blood in the water. Oh. Let me remind you as well, Brent, that that was a 6 6 first half. Paper X won only one round on their defensive side. That is a level of battering that we saw on Bind as well. And that to me indicates a major problem for Paper X. When they're going for these defensive.